Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and this DCS F16C Viper video will discuss the ground moving target or GMT mode of fire control radar in air to ground mode. GMT allows you to detect surface targets moving between 8 and 75 knots based on settings. This is a very useful tool in locating enemy forces moving along roads and cross country and in any weather condition. Let's get started. Alrighty, so let's take a look at GMT mode in operation. Uh, first thing we we'll do, of course, is we'll go to the air to ground master mode. And we do that, it automatically brings up the uh, CCIP visual bombing mode. And because of that, it also brings up the air to ground ranging mode, or AGR, on the SCR, which is also something new coming to our Viper. But for this lesson, we're going to go to CCRP mode instead. Uh, that way, we'll have the uh, radar and GM mode and looking at the uh, steer point ahead of us, which you can see here on the left display. Uh, clearly, the gain is way too high, so let's bring that down. That's better. And to bring up GMT, we're going to go to OSB1 to display the modes, and then GMT from OSB7. Time to populate. Now, each of these small white synthetic boxes is a moving target that the radar has detected. We can, of course, adjust the display range by going to manual ranging and increase the range or decrease the range. We have uh, three azimuth settings. At 1630, it's going to alternate frames between scanning for GMT targets and building the GM map. And at 10, we'll spend three frames scanning, scanning for GMT targets and one frame building the map. Back at the 60. We can also go to snowplow mode and scan directly ahead of us rather than focused on a steer point. Because the FCR is our soy, we can slew our cursor, see, so place it over target. And if we had uh, multiple targets in this area, we can go from norm to expand and get a closer uh, look at that area, but it does not support the DSB modes. Let's come back out. We can also adjust the gain on the GM map with the MTI functions, and that's done with the two arrow OSBs down here. It's also indicated by the caret within the bracket, so we can increase the uh, GM map gain or decrease it. And the other uh, rockers work as well, of course. So if we have the cursor over a target, and we go TMS forward, or target management switch forward, will make this a GMTT, or ground moving target track, which also acts as our sensor point of interest. We'll go TMS aft to get rid of that. If we go to the control page now, we have two primary functions. Uh, first, we have the uh, moving target rejection, and the low function is only gonna see targets between eight and 55 knots. If we go to high, it only see targets between 16 and 75 knots. And you notice, notice all of them disappear. So let's go back to low. We also have target history from 4 up to 32. Usually I keep it at 8. Come back out. So folks, this is a little overview of the ground moving target or GMT mode coming for our radar. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.